And I'm Kristen. And this is We Share Needles. The podcast. Episode 11? Yeah, I think. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I've had too much to drink in the last few days and now I have a southern accent. Oh, fun. It's going to be a good one. interesting. So it's evening. Today is Saturday. Um, we usually film on a Sunday afternoon, but life is crazy sometimes. So today we're filming and enjoying a beverage yeah. and it's a Saturday evening and we're going to have dinner. We're going to have a little cookout after this. We've spent a lot of time together this weekend and it's been really fun. My favorite weekends. Mm -hmm. And so we just got back from Arkansas Yarn Co. We're having a drink. We're going to wind down after being like real high energy mm -hmm. for like three days. So yeah. <laughs> are you ready to start? Let's get started. Let's get started. I'm drinking a Trader Joe's wine. I don't recall which one. Um, the bottle's cute though. It has polka dots on it. <laughs> Is that the Sarah B? No. Oh, it's not the it's honey different. one. It's one day shit. My sister-in-law left ah. here and she used to stay with me for a little, briefly. <laughs> so I'm finishing her alcohol that she left. I am drinking a Press premium, premium Alcohol Seltzer. This one is an apple cinnamon. They've got really good flavors. It's just like an alcoholic seltzer. It's so yummy. They taste fruitier than like the barefoot ones that I drink sometimes. Oh, and the those white ones are and wine and these are not wine. Yeah, but these taste fruitier than like a white claw too. Like it tastes like a juicy kind of, yeah to me. The pineapple basil one tasted creamy. So good. So good. This one tastes like apple cinnamon, but like really light. It's so refreshing yeah. and it, it's I'm a all fan. I can drink. Lori um, at Arkansas Yarn Co. introduced us to them a couple weekends ago and I'm a big fan. I immediately purchased a lot and have been enjoying them when I want to have a cold beverage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have to remember to look at that side. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I am knitting on just a vanilla sock. This is Felici. I don't remember the colorway, but that's what it looks like. These um, are going to be another sample size of my reinforced heel flap that'll come out eventually. I think so. that color way is called over the wall. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure that's it. If you're looking for it, it's already gone. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but if you have it in stock and you like that, that's what it looks like. Um, it's nifty. I am working on balling up a mess of a skein that I just purchased today that I'm working on in whips. But right now, all I'm going to do is be fixing the messy cake that I apparently we created together yeah. <laughs> we had a bad day in, in the winding station it wasn't great no not my proudest moment no it's pretty hideous it's down bad there. and i am wearing my first muscle bird hat Yay. she is so pretty this is a dream in color smooshy it was called kyoto sunset i don't know if you can really see it because um you know it's on my head but my hair is dirty so i put a hat on it and i said good enough it is cute it's a good hat <laughs> i'm a big fan of the muscle bird i have some acquisitions um, that I'm going to cast on muscle birds with. So I'm excited. Yeah. About those. Uh -huh. um, and then, are you wearing any knitting today? I'm not. No. No knitting. No. It's hot. It is a warm day today. And I'm wearing long sleeves, which is a little dumb, but the shirt's really soft, so it's fine. That's true. Yes. Look, I've come across my first knot. I'm only this far into balling. Hmm. Should we Suddenly. do a little counter of the knots? No. <laughs> It'll be bad. <laughs> but this is a bamboo pop. And um, it's just like a regular bamboo, and I have just destroyed it. I'm not having a good time. So, anyway, it's not ideal. should we jump into FOs, or do we have anything else to talk about before we jump into FOs? I just have FOs. We'll do chatter at the end. Okay. Um, my FOs are just socks. I believe that's all I've finished. I have three pairs of socks. I have two of them. You, you might actually think you saw all of them. One of them are my farmer's insurance socks. I did little Georgias in the red, white, and blue. This, oh my gosh, they look so cute on camera. Yeah, they're really oh cute. Oh my goodness. So this is, these are all Arkansas Yarn Co. in her plush face. My blue is um, Royal. Dang your Royal. There you go. And then the speckle is Rock the Vote, and the red is Mustang Sally. Hello. I'm a big fan. She doesn't have them in stock right now, but if you message Lori, if you're interested, she may be able to add them to her next dye day when life is a little less crazy. So I did just to pattern with the afterthought heels. I changed color every four rows. I love that effect. It kind of mimics the color repeats there. And they're done. And my first day of work is Monday. Um, I won't be wearing them probably because I'm gonna wear heels, <laughs> but they're cute. I'm oh my gosh, heels and little Georgia socks. They're like open to I know. Heels. So those Georgia socks are the Tracy Miller pattern, Myler, yeah. whatever, um, Miller. from Grocery Girls. Mm -hmm. 
and that pattern is one of Maddie's favorites, especially for shorties. I think this is like my 10th pair, honestly, of that one pattern. I think more, I would guess yeah, more. Yeah, I love it. It's really, really good. Highly recommend, they go super fast. Um, so that's one of them. Oh, um, my soft blockers are knitting left. I'm reaching up just because I have a shelf under the camera. I'm sorry, I, I won't do that a ton, but I have to a little. Um, my soft blockers are knitting left. We love her. Um, she is on Instagram, Etsy, all that stuff. She's really good. Two more pairs of socks are birthday gifts for my brother and my sister-in-law, and they will already be gifted by the time this goes up. So my older brother, his birthday is on um, Tuesday, and his wife's birthday is on Thursday or Friday, which is really cute. They're really close together. So his birthday socks are these guys. These are in turtle pearl um, in the colorway grayscale with just this. It's a uh, red from my stash. It's Malabrigo. I don't know the colorway. Um, for the heel, I did 64 stitches with a 2x2 two two rib, 20 rows of ribbing, 60 row leg. I think I do like an 85 row foot for him. That's not really relevant, but that's what those look like. I love these. I need to buy another set of this to make this exact sock for my husband because um, he's very jealous. <laughs> They're very buddy too. So those are good. And then last finished object for me. <laughs> I feel like a cat. I'm just a mess. Okay. I love it. Um, okay. These are um, my, they're kind of the Jelly Roll socks. I didn't do the middle part, but the Jelly Roll pattern is what inspired them, I guess. I did the color work heel. Um, I did it a little different in the pattern, but whatever. Did a rolled cuff, two color color work heel, a contrasting heel turn, and then I did two row stripes on the toe, just because I thought it kind of mimicked the color work. This yarn is Hypnotic in Minty Fresh, and the gray is my leftover from my share of hair set from Mandy's Makings. Love um, these guys. It's called New Orleans. Yes. It's good gray. So I finished some socks, I'm excited. Um, I think that's all I finished. I have lots of new cast ons and lots of acquisitions for later and some planned cast ons to talk about, but that is all that actually got done. <laughs> Did you finish, I Kristen? don't know. Okay, I well, I do know what I finished, but let's just put this away for just a second. Just a sec. Just a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it over here by my alcohol. So yeah, that, you need to look in this yes. basket before you leave. Just a little reminder to steal my scraps. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. These are my finished objects. They are in my Birdling Day Tripper tote. I love that tote. I love this it. bag. Um. Okay, so we're gonna start with my least favorite, and then I guess we'll end with my most favorite. <laughs> if you watched last week's episode, <laughs> sorry, you know <laughs> that I hate this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have. Um, or if you've spoken to her, I know. The last if you've three spoken weeks. to me since I touched this yarn, you will know I despise this fo, and it's for me. Yay. Um, <laughs> I really like Felici. Normally, this is Knitpicks mm -hmm. Felici. I did one sock. It was perfect. The next ball I picked up was not the right base. It's, it's wrong. This base is just incorrect. And so I have ended up with a sock with the wrong gauge. This one is like an inch longer um, in both directions, foot length and um, like mm -hmm. in this part. I mean, you part. can see how much higher it is on yeah. the blocker. It's and this is taut and this is loose. Mm -hmm. So we're having a great time. I counted the rows. Everything's exactly the same. It was just the yarn. The yarn feels rough. It's weird. I'm not gonna contact nitpicks because it's not that big a deal. It was $4. I think I even got it on sale, so. Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, but they're finished, so I don't have to knit them ever again, and I can wear them or not. And now you'll squish both balls of Felici before you start a pair. I That is true. I will be touching my Felici um, prior. <laughs> Groping to it. it. <laughs> I'll be stuff. running it through my fingers, being real gross. Mm -hmm. um, but precaution. they're done. So this is a Magic Heel sock. Um, it is a cuff down sock. Uh, I think the pattern is Autumn Acorn. And I just did it on nine inch circulars, cuff down, and then you did some ribbing in the back. And then we just did a little rounded toe. Um, this one took me like all of four hours and this one took me three weeks. So it, yeah, <laughs> the yarn, it slowed you down. Yeah, I really hated it, but it's done and I'm glad it's done. Um, so that is one FO and it's my least favorite one for the last two weeks. Let's see. This was a new cast on that y'all didn't get to see me cast on. It is Wait, for my grandma. So cute. Can you even see it all in the shot? It's not as big as you described it. It is huge. It's oversized, okay. but it's pretty cute on her. Yes, this is an oversized loopy mango boxy lady tee. 
Um, That's so cute. It took all of four balls, like pretty much. I did a medium size and it's supposed to be huge because I am not a medium. This thing fits me. It's just ugly on me. Um, it's for my grandma. My grandma's tiny. She's 4'11". She's a little Korean lady. And these are like her favorite colors. So I made her this little stripey um it looks really thing. good on camera too yeah so i did the ribbing in a blue in the navy i don't remember i think it's called indigo actually and i think this one's called firebird the red they're both the loopy mango summer which is a cotton and i have already blocked it i've already woven in my ends this i almost cussed i'm trying not to this one is done <laughs> i'm trying really hard not to yeah okay when i drink i get a little mouthy um <laughs> Anyway, it's a really cute top. It really knit up very quickly. It is knit in uh, the round on the bottom and then you split at the top. Great pattern, easy to understand. It's a beginner pattern. It's literally all garter stitch, um, so easy. And then I just striped in the colors. It was not meant to be striped. I like how I, like I did how like the striped. big at yeah. the top. It was because I did this big ripping and then I was like, I'm positive I'm running out of yarn. Yeah. I'm, I'm positive I will run out of yarn in this sweater. It looks really balanced. I so, like it a lot. Yes. And then I did the little blue sleeves. And you ended up with a darker on the bottom, and uh -huh. which just kind of carries the weight down. It looks really mm -hmm. good. I like it. And so I will send that to my grandma. She's going to love that. She also, while she was visiting, took my texture time. She just took it. She went into my room and she said, this is for me. And I said, sure. And she said, you can make me another one. And I was like, no, that's yours. Cause I'm not doing that again. I, I don't think I'll ever duplicate a Stephen West pattern. Yeah, I think yeah, those yeah. are a one and those done. One and done for if me. you duplicate Stephen West patterns, will you let me know below? Because I would like to just worship you. Like what medication yeah. are you on <laughs> that you can do that? <laughs> Leave your prescription. Like, okay. <laughs> I can ask my doctor. What medication? Who's your doctor? <laughs> Who's your therapist? They must be amazing. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We're getting we're getting wild at the top of the show. How long? Well, we've been together minutes, for so though. long. It's true. We broke our streak on Snapchat. Oh my god! Yeah, it was real long too. It was, it was like almost two hundred days. It was yeah, hundred seventy. It was nearly two hundred days. It's, this happens every time. Yep. Every time we have a sleepover. Every time we go to hot springs. It's true. <laughs> Okay, so that was number two. I have more. Yay. So, Look at you. I know. I'm so good. <gasps> I'm trying to clean off my needles. I'm not there yet. So, this is my second Musselberg hat. This one is the Hypnotic Yarn Yarnable. Um, it was from the March Yarnable. Um, it's the Yarnable box, the monthly subscription box. Celtic Fairy. Yes, there you go. Look at that and look at this. So different. Our lighting's not ideal because it's evening, so it's I'm sorry. So but it's so pretty, fine. though. It's like a mint. Yay. So I made the adult medium size, not the adult small, because there's no adult small. I oh. made the adult medium. This is uh, the Musselberg hat by Isolde Teague. I started it for the Crazy Sock Ladies knit along, but I gave up because I made this one for the knit along, and then I was like, yeah, I'm on a roll. I'll do it again. I did not. So I just finished this one the other night. I'm going to give it to my nephew because I feel like this is going to look so cute on him. So cute. He looks so cute wearing that one. Yeah, that one he's worn this one already, but I was like, this one's kind of pink and it's like, it's you. It's me, you know, I like it. And so this one will be for him and I think he's going to love it a lot. That's really sweet. He just likes wearing my clothes. I'm just like, okay, whatever, dude. It's um, <laughs> so, um, I did it pretty quickly. I think we've already shown the construction, but it's like two-sided, double-sided. I've already blocked it and weaved in my end. I feel like if you're on Instagram, you've seen a hundred muscle breaks yeah. in the last two months. It's true. But if you haven't um, knit this pattern, knit it. Just get it and knit 100%. it. 100%. It's worth it. It's a great hat um, or pattern to knit. I wish that she had videos linked for the pinhole cast on yeah. or like the, you know, any closed cast on for a magic circle cast on yeah. or whatever. And my eyes watering. Ugh. Okay, that's cute. Anyway, I wish she had videos because that would make her pattern better. Their pattern. I don't know. I think that's a woman. I don't know. The name is sold is not normal to me. Yeah. So. I, I don't know. <laughs> their it pattern. Their pattern better, yeah. <laughs> it would make their pattern better. But, but it's a fantastic one and it's it a is. really great gender neutral hat. I've made one for my husband. He adores it. Um, he fell asleep wearing it the other night. When I gave it to him, he put it on his head and fell asleep with it on his head. So cute. It's adorable. He wore it to work and it's summer in Arkansas, but he put it on his head anyway. Yeah. I like to wear it with the brim up because I don't look cute with the little floppy 
I don't like it floppy like either, but my husband looks cute with it floppy. I, I don't. think men do, and yeah. Lori looks so Lori cute looks floppy. so cute in this one. She yes. needs to make it out of that yarn. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is my third FO. It's beautiful. It's a gift. Um, a gift roll. I know. Okay. Those are all supposed to be gifts if those socks didn't come out so stupid. This is so cute. This is so cute. So I did another test knit. This one's for a baby sweater. It, the sizes went from three months, which is the size I did, to 10 years old. The um, pattern designer's name is Sarah Goff. She goes by Sister Plus Brother Knits on Instagram, and I'll link her below. Is it but, plus spelled out or the plus no, sign? No, it's the plus sign. Okay. Look how cute this is. Oh, it's this even is, cuter on camera. I know. This is like a little oversized boxy sweater. I have not blocked it, but I did weave in all my ends, and it's completely finished. I finished in time. I'm so happy with it. You see the little back. It's supposed to be oversized like this because this looks big for a three-month-old. This but is so cute. It's so cute. I need to make that pattern when it it's comes out. It's so, so cute. And I found out she's grading it up for adult sizes, and she's working on getting a different yarn. This was made for a... A not widely available yarn um, from Lion Brand. It's a cotton that they don't often make. Um, I think she wanted it for more natural fibers because it's meant to be a beach sweater. It's called the Beach Waffle Pullover. And I'll bring it up a little closer. You can see it. It's so cute. Can you see the little neckline? I'm in love. Okay, so I did this with um, Hobby Lobby's Yarn Bee. Soft and sleek DK. Soft and sleek DK. I believe it's baby, baby delight. Bee. I think baby sweet bee. delight. Sweet delight. Sweet yeah. delight. Soft and sleek DK. <laughs> None of what we said was true. <laughs> sweet delight. Soft and sleek DK. <laughs> this color is bashful, and then the minty color is called mint charm. And I have plenty left. I'm gonna make yes. another one to match. Baby bee, sweet delight. That's exactly correct. Um, so I'm gonna make another one to match. That's gonna have the like the peachish color for the trim and then the green color is the main color. <laughs> I cry when I see them next to each other. Because I was going to give this to my friend at church who has a baby, but her baby's kind of chunky. Yeah. And I don't know if this is going to fit the way it's supposed to on her for the pictures, but I do have a friend, another friend who I work with, and she has twins. <gasps> so. Great idea. Twin Great sweaters. Idea. And they're a brother and a sister. Oh my god. Adorable. Yes. So I'm going to link her below because by the time we um, have this up, I'm pretty sure that the pattern will be released. I'm going to cast one on before the next podcast. Yeah. Event. It's a great pattern. It was so well written. I mean, this is like a little baby sweater, but you know, all the way up to size, a uh, 10 year old size. And it's so pretty. I can't, I want to make one for me. It's so soft. It's so squishy. It's a great pattern. I love it. I'm so happy that I signed up for that. I signed up for this because she had posted in the Knitterino's Facebook group that I'm a part of and was just like, hey, anyone want to test it? And I was like, should I do it? <laughs> and I said, You're yeah, roll. of yeah. course. So I did it. And so I'm so proud of myself that I did it on time. I've contacted her and posted it in the group chat and everything like a normal human without like vicious anxiety about <laughs> group chatting with strangers. So... She's done. She's cute. Yay me. Um, do we have any comments on this? No, it was perfect. <laughs> no, sorry. You have a lot of comments. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to... After you talk for a minute, do I have anything to say about this one? Do I have anything to say about this one? Mm. No. I love it. <laughs> it's very cute. You want to touch it? I've touched it a bunch. Put it on. I really love this detail. Mm -hmm. Along the... Oh, it's so cute. The details in this and there's like a under the arm... Yeah. The way it transitions, the pattern transitions so smoothly mm -hmm. under the arm. It's good. This is beautiful. I'll be knitting one. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's real nice. I love it. Mm -hmm. I want it. Who it goes up to 10 years old? Up to 10. I'm going to knit this for my niece and nephew. That is so cute. I'm going to cast that on so soon. Oh, yeah. I did have one. I had a problem getting gauge, which I talked about last podcast. So that was my only negative not it's not a negative yeah. i just had a problem getting gauged so and you had to gauge in pattern which is hard for me it's tough so i had a problem getting gauged but everything else turned out perfect i'm gonna measure it and weigh it and make sure that i'm you know on mm -hmm. the you know measurements it's supposed to be but that was a really well written pattern and it's her first pattern oh good for her and That's it was so really cute. really well done That's so. so beautifully done yeah. good for her yes um that was my last full fo i think Anything else in this bag? Oh, this is all I had left of my loopy mango cotton. Wow, you used all the blue? That's it, yeah. I had like even less of that and the cat took it, so. <laughs> <laughs> the 
counts to the yardage. Yeah. Just... Yeah. So that's it. So those are my FOs. I was really trying to get everything off my needles because Maddie did that and then she okay. recast on. So she has everything on her lips. needles. I have one more FO. I did a cozy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the yarn cozy light. My knitting Maddie. Put it up close because that's so pretty. Oh. Look at those colors. This is ancient art um, in the color, yes, in soft nato in the color firework. Beautiful. And that's the yarn that's in it. I made the cozy out of the yarn to put the yarn in. Cute. I keep doing that, <laughs> I keep doing that because I put this in my mouth and this is like the, <laughs> the floppy bit and I don't expect it. I expect it to be metal. And I put it in my mouth and I'm like, ooh, floppy. <laughs> I think this is only like 5% alcohol. Yeah, it's 4% is. alcohol. I need to calm down. But I started my day with half of one, <laughs> just chugging it. So, I you know. don't want to waste it. <laughs> Lord. Okay. Um, so good. I have so many whips. I'm going to take up a ton of time. Do you want me to move into that? We're going to do acquisitions, acquisitions first good, and yeah. then whips because that too. we're working on some acquisitions already, right? Yeah. It's true. Okay. So, I'm just going to dive in. Go, go for it. I got whips too. I have too. a big bucket of acquisitions. So, um, just get progress ready. check here because look at that. Cute. Mm -hmm. I um was inspired. I follow Nitty Natty on Instagram, and in her podcast or no, on her Instagram story the other day, she pulled out these stitch holders um from Clover. They're a circular stitch holder. Um for her sleeve. She was like packing her notions bag for a sweater. Oh, one of those. I forgot. Oh no. I meant to. I have two of each if mm. you need to borrow one until you get yours in the mail. You should order it. <laughs> um, anyway, these are really good. It's just got like a little needle on it so you can transfer your stitches onto it. So after I saw her, um, I ordered two short and two long for sleeves and for like the back of the sweater when you have to separate. Um, I got these Arkansas Yarn Co. She has them in stock. Those are really nifty. So just kind of a little acquisition. Lots of yarn in here. Um, I got a little kit from Molly Klein Design, who does sweet tea yarns. Um, she put out a Baby Yoda bag oh, and yarn. That. So good. This is the bag. Her bags are beautifully made. Um, they're zippered on top with a boxed bottom and a little ribbon handle. I have several of her bags. I'm always a huge fan. Anything that's like a coordinating kit always gets me. Um, this got me so much that I purchased DK yarn. Which, if you know me, is stupid. Oh, so you got DK? I got DK. I'm going to do a muscle burg because I can get gauge and it'll just be a faster muscle burg. It's so pretty. It's that little, is a beautiful yarn. This is for Buddy. Um, I asked him if he wanted a muscle burg or socks and he said, surprise me. I was thinking like flipper socks. I think I'm going to do a muscle burg. Um, just, don't you think? I mean, do what you got to do, boo. That's yarn that you just display. <laughs> but my husband wants it and I want to put it in the little baby Yoda bag and carry it around so this was oh, such a good purchase I'm so glad I bought it so cute this is my favorite part is these little speckles, the speckles. so they're good. adorable now I don't know baby Yoda we are not friends but oh my gosh I mean I feel like that's beautiful these are I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of knitting this um, so I need to look at the muscle work pattern and make sure that it's one skein with DK I bet it is because it's a larger gauge but I'll look into that. I don't know. That's a beautiful acquisition. Um, some Arkansas Yarn Co. I have a mix of lots of people. I just threw in a bag. Lori at Arkansas Yarn Co. Um, was featured in a book. And she had a little book signing and dyed yarn to go along with it. Sorry for the crinkle. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> this is also DK. Who am I? Um, it's a kit. That's why I bought it. Because it had a stitch marker in a book. This is her yarn. And she dyed it to match... I didn't even open this till I showed it to you guys. She dyed it to match the cover of her of the book. It's not her book, but it's Hooked on You by Kathleen Fuller. And it's like a little romance novel. I'm definitely going to read it. I'm going to put it beside my bed. And I'm, It's a romance novel. It is. It's cute. I'm going to try and be more intentional about reading at night instead of looking at TikTok. So that's my new goal. Is I feel like, so judged. To like <laughs> read for half an hour. I told you I'm going to be a new person. I'm going to be a morning showerer. A person who uses DK yarn. And well, <laughs> briefly, that one stick. But um, yeah, so that's a cute little book. And I love that the yarn matches the cover. Super cute. And it's got one of Lori's handmade little resin Arkansas stitch markers. Super cute. And these are Lori's new labels. Look at that. I'm obsessed. Look at Kristen. <laughs> We're having a bad time. <laughs> it's bad. It's, it's all great. bad in here. Okay. I think the rest of it's soft yarn. I actually also got that, just FYI. You did? Yes. Oh, cool. 
Um, I ordered two of the sock sets. Lori died for my sock pattern. Can't help it. Um, I bought my own sock sets. Third. There's the stitch marker. Now you can show it because yes. we haven't showed it yet. It, this kit's come with a little stitch marker. We are, she is planning to dye more kits on um, plush is back ordered. She's going to dye some on sparkle, but shoot Arkansas Yarn Co. message if you want a kit. You can purchase it just yarn or with the pattern um, through Arkansas Yarn Co. But I got the purple and the blue. I thought I would swap the minis and do opposites. Yay! Um, maybe That's not, how we roll. I love it. Maybe not both string of heart socks, but I loved the. They're gorgeous. And the, they made up beautiful. I might just display them because they make me want to cry because of how well received my pattern was as my first pattern and how supportive Lori was. And I'll cry if I talk about it, but thank you all so much for buying my pattern and wanting to knit my pattern. And I did um, pick a winner and message her um, off the podcast for the giveaway on the last podcast for my pattern. Um, it's Robbie. Robbie's? Yes. yes. I think so. Good. Again, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. I said good luck, Robbie, but I meant... With the sock? You're welcome. <laughs> so good I Good job, Robbie. Talk to her. She's got her pattern. Um, I just really appreciate you guys. I'm not going to talk about it more because I'm a crier, but I got these kind of for sentimental value. I love them and they're just really pretty colors. So that's those two. Still not done. I ordered, I'll just finish up the Arkansas Yarn Co. Um, Lori's original signature plush face is my favorite. Mm -hmm. So I went to the store last weekend and literally just walked around the store and picked up everything that was signature plush. This one looks a little funky because I already opened it and wound off 20 grams of it and then restained it because I'm doing a scrappy swap. So Which one's that one? Oh, that was the Jen Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer from, uh. The Witcher. Yes. Um, I just liked it because it's this really pretty gray with like little purple speckles. So it didn't come like this in the store. It, I made it ugly. Not her. <laughs> and then this is um, acid wash jeans. I love anything maybe. So these are just going to be socks. I love them. Just bought them because that's my favorite base and it's coming back and I'm very excited. And then the last two I got from a dyer, a yarn company I've never purchased from before, which is Leo and Roxy. I got two of their work sock sets, one for myself and one for a gift knit. This one's a gift, this is for me. They are a, these are a little different. They're 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 100% good vibes. How cute. I love. Yep. I'm a big fan. 100% um, good it's vibes. It's what it says. That is, I love it. It's them. milled in Italy. Anyway, it's really pretty. Um, and the sock sets, when you purchase one of their um, work socks or their basics sock sets, it comes with a pattern for that like kind of classic work sock that you think of, this is two minis wound together where it's like a white cuff with a little green stripe in the, min in the cuff and then the black and white body and then the toe has a little green stripe in it too. I love those. They're so cute. This is so, this yeah. is my color. We'll link their Instagram below. I don't know if they have like an online shop or whatever, but I think I'll link their Instagram because the Instagram posts are so cute so cute uh, i saw a post where they did a little baby set with just one of these uh, sets where it was a hat a sweater <laughs> and booties i love it so much i'm gonna have to order more um i'm a big big fan these are really pretty so i saw these originally on the grocery girls they've talked about them i think tracy tracy only really might have designed that work socks pattern now that i say that or a similar one she has a pattern that features these um but i really love them check them out Check, I think, check, check them out. Is that everything I've purchased? No. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's kind of also... Do not the camera. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Um, this one's also a whip. I won't talk about it a ton yet. But I purchased um, some more woolens and nosh. And this is the way for the Bright Axis tee, which I will show in a minute. I purchased that and then a skein of the teal in... Teal feather. Reflecting pool. Oh, reflecting pool in Malabrigo. So yes, these two are going to be my bright axis tea. I'll talk about that in a minute. But those are also purchases and probably more, but that's all I can think of. So. Okay. So <laughs> should I move into shopping crazy. my purchases? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with this one because. Oh, this goes down here. Why? Um, this is Bamboo Pop. It is the Bamboo Pop sport weight, the normal, not the sock. And it is. A mess but this is the color sand and it's for something that I'm working on for my sister that I'll show in whips but I bought three of these from Arkansas Yarn Co and then I just destroyed them because I am chaos um you destroyed all three or just one just the one okay. just the one okay so all of my other purchases are in this <laughs> knick knack knits Japanese knot bag right it's really cute mm -hmm. I love it this is cute okay 
Uh, I got this at Arkansas Yarn Co. <laughs> so we'll start with just what's on top. <laughs> oh, that's so so this is a really pretty skein. The colorway is Henry and it's from Homestead Fibers, who is an Arkansas dyer, an Arkansas based Mountain dyer. Mountain Home or Mountain View? Uh, it doesn't One of the say two. on there. One of the She's mountains. from some sort of mountain. There's no mountains in Arkansas, but. <laughs> She's from a. There are mountains She's from in a Northwest mountain Arkansas. in Arkansas. But she's not from. I think hers is in Northwest Arkansas. Anyway, yeah, she's from a mountain place. <laughs> she's from a mountain place, and this is a really pretty skein. It's called Henry. I love the name, and she has all hers have human names. It's 80-20 um, with uh, Superwash Merino and Nylon, and I just thought the colors were really pretty. It's very fall-toned. I saw it on Instagram, and I was like, that's, that's mine. And I've been I meaning to it. buy from her for a really long time, Ooh. and she does her posts kind of sporadically like she doesn't do like big store updates or shop updates it's just kind of like this is a good base this this is what i have today what do you, do you want it and i said yes i do yeah. now <laughs> that i see this base in person i'm gonna order some very it's, soon it's this twist. is my base yes yeah. she has a sock set that's pretty much all this color it's called olivia and mm -hmm. it's this with like a lighter mini and it's I'm gonna so buy pretty. That. Yeah, she has really good colors. They're very matty, and um, we've both been meaning to purchase this for a really I long have, time. I love supporting local to me yeah. dyers and makers. Yeah, so thank you, Homestead Fibers. This is so pretty. I love See her you. little label. She's so cute. And so we'll link her Instagram down below too. Be that was a uh, purchase her. that I purchased drunk and was like, oh my god, I got a package. And I was like, oh, I did buy yarn. Because I, I remember that. I You're like, like, I don't know if I checked out I, or not. I, I might have bought yarn. I don't really remember. So I did. Um, and then I have this needle, which I've already opened and used. This is a little 12, uh, 12 inch needle I used for that baby sweater, um, the beach waffle sleeves. sweater for sleeves. And it worked out great. So I could put the three month sleeves on this little 12 inch needle. So really all you need to do that whole sweater is a 16 inch needle and a 12 inch needle and you use them in sizes four and six. Cool. So it was good. Um, I got that at Arkansas Yarn Co. She has so many Chowgu needles. I love Chowgu's. This is a Chowgu red lace. And it's actually my first 12 inch needle. And I really, really wanted one for one of my whips I'm working on now, but they don't have it in the right size. They just don't make it. So I wish they made everything in a 12 inch and a nine inch, mm -hmm. but they don't. Okay. Ew. So let's go on to one of my clubs. Ugh, so sorry. last week or, or two weeks ago, um, I was really nervous about not receiving my Wooly Mama Yarns Sweet Tooth Club. And I also got the minis, uh, the five minis that she does. So this is a monthly subscription box kind of, but not. You order every month. So you don't like, it's an opt-in box. You sign up and then you can just buy it if you want to. It doesn't automatically order for you. This one was based on Candy Floss, I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Yes candy floss. It's so cute. So this is a 7525 base. It's super wash merino and nylon. She's from Manchester in the UK. I love her. Her name is Cassie. She's always linked below because I almost always have a purchase from her because this is my color soulmate. I love it. It's so cute. Um, she posts her inspo pics. She doesn't post. It's a mystery and when you get it. So, but she posts her inspo pics so you can opt in if you want. Most of the time, the other one, the fabulous fauna, I don't opt in for because it it's about animals and flowers and so there's a lot more like earthy tones and like greens and blues and stuff like that like not earthy tone yeah earthy yeah, tone greens and blues. Yeah they're not as deep as the earth tones that I like that usually. Yeah but they're not as um bright and fun as like the candy collection which is what I get and so I got that one and then I got uh, these five. These are the mystery mini pack she does this every time and they're always just Really bright neon, pretty minis. They're 20 gram minis. It's the same base, the 7525. They're all fingering weight. You can also opt in for DK if you want Ooh, on both, all, all of the kits. Yeah. And so I think that when I cast on a sea glass tea, it might be a lot of these because this is my vibe. We'll talk about the sea glass tea in a minute. Yes. Um, so there's that. Then I got another purchase for a different cast on. I ordered three Malabrigo black. And then realized I already have a Malabrigo black. <laughs> so I'll have Love four Malabrigo black. And I bought another one of these, which is the Woolens and Nosh. Eh. <laughs> this is a Woolens and Nosh Blair. Do you have my leg warmers? Um, <laughs> Love. It's a self-striping sock yarn. It is a 
7525 superwash merino and nylon four ply um pretty hefty skein 463 yards per 100 Whoa. grams yeah that's heftier than yummy plush yummy plush four, yeah. is 440 that's a lot it's it's a lot yeah um but bigger. this is so pretty and i'm i got two of these because i already had one and then i'm going to make the bright axis tea bright axis tea or what we like to call our work uniform. <laughs> Everyone at Arkansas Yarn Co is making them so we can all wear them for the Arkansas Yarn Crawl in late July, early August. So I have mine in whips. I'm excited. Um, and if you watch the Arkansas Yarn, the Arkansas Yarn cast, all three ladies over there, um, Anna and Jess have knit them and Marie is knitting one. Yes. And like a lot of people that, that are going to be there, like just kind of the regulars are also knitting them. It'll so. be cute. I hope we get a good group photo. Everyone wears them one day together. I know. We're going to need you. At least me, you, and um, Betty. Betty. We'll have to yeah. because we're going to have very similar ones. So I also got three of the Knitter's Pride crochet hooks because I'm working on a crochet project for the first time in a really long time. But I have it today, so I'll show you in a minute. But So that was my last purchase. I bought three of them. I got the size J, the size I, and the size G. G. Because they were out of H. Because they didn't have an H. And my gauge was so loose. <laughs> so bad. So really, I'm following a pattern, but I'm not. <laughs> I mean, following loosely. It's, yes. The pattern inspired you. It did. It did. It inspired me for $6. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> I love it. Um. So we are 40 minutes in. And our whip section <laughs> is going to be long. It's going to be a so, long whip section. So I feel like Cindy is going to be so happy. Yeah, a lot of you ask for more, so buckle up. Um, now's the time to pause, grab a drink. Oh, good idea. Come back. And put my floppy straw in my mouth. Yeah, I was talking to them, but you can too. Mm. <laughs> well, specify. I love it. I've been doing it all the time, so I don't know about you. Um, so I'm going to jump right into my Bully. whips. Let's see. Um, ow, she I'm bonked sorry. me. Sorry, she bonked me. I'm gonna start with socks. I have a couple. This one is a hypnotic, a yarnable colorway in flannel sheets. The yarnable colorways I don't believe are ever repeated for the shop. Um, but <laughs> these I cast on kind of playing with a pattern for the front. What do you guys think? Are you like interested in that? I think it's cute, it has like a little slip stitch. I don't know if you can, it's reading really well right there, but it is very cute. I'll put a picture on Instagram, I guess, but I don't know if you guys are interested in like a cute little textured sock. This one's a 50 stick stitch. It's for um, someone I love's birthday. Not Kristen. I mean, I do love her, but that sounded like I was talking about you. You're getting birthday socks, but they won't be on the podcast until after. It's like, you're your face. <laughs> No, I was I was sad. I was looking forlornly out the window. Oh my gosh, you're silly. Anyway, hypnotic flannel sheets, um, 56 stitches, 20 rows, 2 by 2 um, cuff, and a pattern I am maybe writing up if there's interest in that, maybe. Um, excited about that. It'll come after the reinforced heel, though. And then I have some Georgias, some more. I'm making one more pair in the farmer's insurance colors. Um, I feel like I'll never be done with them. And I just have two little cuffs done. The worst part is over. These are in Rock the Vote. My little bag has Mustang Sally and Dating a Royal in it. This pair is for my mom um, and then I'll make one for one of my brothers and then I'll be done with red, white, and blue. Maybe I should make one for Buddy too. He likes red, white, and blue. Eh. <laughs> I'm known. Um, are those all of my sock whips? I'm known. I think, oh, and now you have a, I have a straight heart sock. sock. No. Oh yeah, well I showed those in what I was working on. I'm oh, working on those vanilla socks for what I'm knitting on. Ah. Um, <clears throat> still working on my string of heart socks. I hit a lull. Um, because I kind of got overwhelmed by them. They make me want to cry because they make me really happy. <laughs> um, but these are beautiful. So hopefully I finish those soon. I want them done. I don't know if I'll keep them. I think I'll just display them, honestly. Yeah. Frame like, them. Yeah. <laughs> make a shadow box just for them yes. and for the leftover yarn. I like it. That and I already showed you the little vanilla socks for my brother. That's all my socks. Do you want me to keep going? Or go, go. Okay. I'm gonna not. Cool. We'll just keep running into it. Um, here's a bag. A little baby sweater I'm knitting. My one of my brothers is expecting. So I showed the booties the other day. This is just a flat. <laughs> I thought I showed my booty. <laughs> I was 
was like, whoa. The baby boobies. Okay, okay. We're yeah. fine. I'm fine. Cut mess. it out. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm a mess. This is a baby flap sweater. Um, the flax is written for worsted weight, but I did DK on a smaller needle and I knit two sizes up. I measured my gauge. I knit two sizes up in terms of stitch count, but I knit, knit to the measurements of the zero to three months. And that's kind of, those notes are in my Ravelry. I hope that makes sense. Like I knit to the length on the body and the sleeves of the zero to three month, but all the numbers are the one to two year size to do DK on a five. Um, and I'm doing a four for the ribbing. I feel like you should have just done the the worsted weight flax. I wanted to use this yarn. Yeah, but I mean, like, you should have just sized down your needle and done the worsted weight and you would have had a, a perfect size. This is the worsted weight flax. Oh. But I sized down my needle, so I did a larger size because my oh. needle sized down. But I did the measurements, like, in terms of body length of okay, the smaller Okay, I gotcha. Just to know how long it needed to be for the baby. Um... So there's that. I'm gonna make more stuff for this baby, lots of baby stuff coming, definitely that beach waffle sweater. This just needs one more sleeve. I could have finished it, but I didn't, because I didn't want another sleeve. I have a crochet whip. Look at me go. I am knitting, <laughs> knitting. I'm crocheting a I know, float tote. It's so hard. Knitty Natty, I'm crafting a float tote. Um, the little, what do you need? hold on, what do you need? I made the little base and the little cups that go in it. Oh, it's so tiny. It has, the little magnet snaps that uh, Natalie recommends in her pattern. So they snap in to the little base. This is the float tote mini. I'm knitting the two skein version. They snap in and then this sits inside Can the little tote like a little socks? and is removable. <clears throat> and it's perfect for like a two skein shawl or little socks. It's gonna be, excuse me, it's gonna be taller. But so I've been working on that. I'm gonna knit, knit, I keep craft, I'm gonna craft it. Um, up probably this taller show, and then there's some handles. It's really cute. It's got a little oval base. I like it. I'm excited. Um, I ordered a ton of the magnet mm -hmm. snaps if you ever want them. And look at my gigantic cake. I keep losing my ball. I caked a cone of cotton I had because I needed to pull from both ends because this is the cotton held double, worsted cotton held double on a J. Is it hurting your hands? Not really. Crochet hurts my hands a little more than knitting in general, so I can't uh, crochet on it a ton. I have to take more breaks, which is why it's still not done. Um, but it's not as bad as I remember crochet being. So I feel like when you did the baby creature, mm -hmm. that was tough. That was tight. It was tough on our hands. I that had to help hurt. you with something, and I was like, oh, no. Yeah, that was like a really thick worsted held double on like an H or something, so it was really tight. It hurt my hands really bad. I did not enjoy that process. Um, my bright axis tee. I showed the yarn for that. I have barely started this. This is in a book. Self knit happy with self striping yarn. So this is gonna be my bright axis. Available at Arkansas Yarn Co. Yeah, I've barely started. I've cast on my little ribbing and I'm knitting it helically. Helically. Um, it's hard to <laughs> I'm say. I'm gonna try and then I'm like, nope. You're like, nah. Well, they'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Um, and that's just a method where you um knit with two skeins at the same time, pretty but rotating them. So I have one skein that kind of starts over here and one that starts beginning around when I get to, when I get to an end, like three stitches before I slip three stitches and then start with the next end and knit around. So your transitions are constantly moving in a spiral in a helix. Um, so you don't end up with like a carry line up the garment. Um, this is fingering weight. I um, checked my gauge on this. So the ribbing is on a three. I believe the rest of the sweater is on a five, a four or a five. Um, and that's just started. This is knit from the bottom up. It's oversized. I'm knitting the size 52 bust. So I will have, that'll give me eight inches of positive ease. Um, I usually go for like six inches of ease, but that was kind of the closest. Um, the base of the shirt is knit in your main color. And then it has like a top section that's in the stripe across the I'll top. I'll put a, pat, a picture. Yeah. So you can see it. And I'll probably alter the neckline because it's a little too high for me. Yeah, which but. is kind of like your... Weekend the and, yeah, the Weekend or Light by Andrea Mowry. I'm going to frog that. It's been sitting at Arkansas Yarn Co. because it makes me sad. But here's my little swatch. I've got gauge. I just played with the stripe and the regular together. And my, there's a blue in my striping. It's really similar to my Malabrigo. You can kind of see the difference. Barely. They're really close. So that's exciting. Um, that's barely cast on. I plan on casting that on too, but I haven't yet. So that's why it's just all wound up in my purchases. Yeah. 
Um, my vertices unite. I talked about my yarn choices um, two weeks ago when we podcast last, mm -hmm. and um, I'm going with black instead of I didn't order the okra. I'm gonna use my black. I've barely started this guy. I was in like a cast on moods. So I cast on a lot of stuff over the last two weeks. Didn't finish a ton. I finished those three socks though. Um, but this is just a little tiny beginning. So that's all in a bag here. Exciting. That's a quick one. Um, I can I can still show my yarn. This is Yummy. This is Arkansas Yarn Co. Yummy Flesh. I believe this is Confused Gnome. This is Colin Bridgerton, Arkansas Yarn Co. Yummy Plush. Then my black is just Malarigo Black. This one is Harbor Fibers and Cranberry Spritzer and a little yarn cozy. Super cute from my Cozy Nutter Advent Scheme. And this, I don't remember the colorway or the name. Kristen got me this. I showed it in the last podcast. It's a little green. It didn't have a colorway name. It um, was from Cloud Art. It's in my Ravelry. I, I made sure to put in the color number in it and all that. So that's my very season night. It might get some attention this summer. It might be just on my needles till the fall. Who knows? Because it's a big one. But at least it's started and the yarn is set aside and I like my choices. They make me happy. Um, this next one is the current mystery gnome knit along with Sarah. Shira. Shira. So if you don't want to see it, look away. But look I've only away. done a tiny bit, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> I just did clue one and two, the little hat. It's really cute. It's tiny this time. It looks She's way itty -bitty. smaller. Yeah. Itty bitty. Um, Sarah Shira is hosting a knit along, and we are also still hosting our gnome make along for any knit or crochet gnome pattern from any designer in our We Sure Needles Ravelry group. Yeah, and if you sew them too, like yeah. a little sewn one, we just want to see them. It's just a make along. We just show us. Super cute. Like, yeah. Pop the bug. So we have chatter threads set up. We will, I, um, the dates are in there. I think it's early June that it'll end. Like maybe the next podcast, I think it is. Yeah, the next podcast. Um, we will pick a winner and the winner will receive a gnome pattern from Sarah Shira of their choice that we will send them and a gnome kit from Arkansas Yarn Co. of their choice that we will send them. Both will be sent directly to, um, from the makers to you. We'll, or we'll buy the pattern sent your Ravelry, whatever, or your Etsy or whatever. Um, that's my little hat. I've not done anything else. Lots more clues are out. I might work on that soon. I might not. Unknown. I think that once I um, get the sweater off my needles that I'm about to show in a second, yeah, so I close. will start that because I'm really close. Okay, so I will update. Update. I mean, I've got so a crazy. good ball happening here. Yeah. Will you um, just, can you? I just have one more. Oh, you have one more. Okay, never mind. Um, ha ha. I'm just like, okay, be quiet and let me do this. I have one more and then I have a scrappy blanket and then I have a plan cast. Oh my goodness. About. Okay, you're fine. But I can talk I'll about my continue. plan one later. We can. No, you're good. Keep okay. going. This is my rocket tee. I finally cast on. Um, this is a little look. <laughs> this pattern uses a fingering weight and a mohair, each hole held on their own, striped. I'm using Dragon Horde yarn in Drink Me and Arkansas Yarn Co. Fluff in Sea Glass. So it starts at the top. You do your increases, increase for the sleeve and the v-neck, and then join in the round. And I am within 10 rows of joining in the round. But look at my colors. I really love this. I've knit on it a ton the last two days. And um, this is why I bought the little sleeve holders because Knitting Natty is also knitting this. And when she was packing her little bag, she showed those sleeve holders. And so I got the small ones as well. And they're in here somewhere, but anyway. This is really exciting. Um, if you're knitting the racket tee, show me, tag me in your post or whatever. I wanna see everybody's progress. This is really fun. You should knit one. I have the stuff to knit one. I'm gonna do, do it, it in do navy it, and do red. It. Ooh, do it. I really like it. It's gonna be really fun with a little tank top under it. I think even for work with my black slacks and a little black blazer over it. Cute. Cute. Mm -hmm. I love it. Very summery, very bright. Love it. It's in a bag from Cookies and Bees. Brianna Metlodge, I believe. One of her little window bags. I love these. It's got little chickens on it. She's in my murder group. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, gosh. <sighs> um, hi, Brianna, if you're watching this. I don't think you are. I hope but you do. We love you. We're in a murder group together. <laughs> and then some people asked about my scrappy blanket, which lit a fire under me um, to work on it some. So here's my scrappy blanket. I'll just show you first. Don't think there's one on the needles on it right now. This is it. It's very pretty. Oh, hello. It's not very big yet, but it's there. <laughs> so I <laughs> went through all of my scraps after the last podcast 
um, everything I had left of all the yarns and all my buckets and I wound off like four and a half to five grams of each one and filled my basket. So now my little scraps are all ready. So all I have to do is sit down, knit a square and then just throw away the half a gram that'll be left Oops. if there is one from each. Well, I just really royally screwed that up. It's okay. Um, I'll fix that while you talk about yours. But oh. Oh, you talk about now. No, later. later. Yeah, so it's just a bag full of scraps, but it makes me really happy. I'm not um, really making any notable progress on this blanket, but maybe this will help. I've knit two on it since I did this. So I feel like good. the more people ask you, the more you're like, oh, okay, right. you know, I guess I will. It. This, made me really, this was fun, though, just to go through all my yarn and, like, wind off each one. Um, I did this while I was picking out my color scheme for my sea glass tee. That's a pattern that's coming out at the end of the month. That Christian and I are both planning to knit. Um, I can talk about that after you do whips because it's kind of a planned cast. So I have some socks that are planned too. Um, but this was fun. So this helped me if you kind of hit a wall with your cozy memories, maybe just kind of like winding off the yarn and getting, I had so much that was like 50 gram balls left over in here and it was kind of overwhelming, I guess. Um, I mean, it was just big. It was a lot. Yeah. But this all fits in my bag, and the blanket can sit down in it, and this sits on the edge of my chair. So when I do my Zoom knit night, I try and grab this off the back of my chair and work on it. Um, it doesn't always happen, but usually it does. It's happened several times, so that's really exciting. That is all of my whips. I only took 15 minutes to talk about my whips. I mean, I feel like you talked really fast. I'm sorry. No, but I like it. I mean, it's just, you know, some people... We have a lady who watches in French. No, she watches it in English. She speaks French. And she says we talk really fast, so. I'm sorry. And Hello, my project page is below. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, I can't help it. It's okay. I, I feel like that's just our energy. That's me. I've been trying to slow down a little bit because I feel like when I'm editing the videos, sometimes I can't understand what I'm saying either. Oh no. It's okay. You're usually clear. Um. Okay, I'm gonna put this down because I'm gonna talk about it in a second, but I'm getting close. Look at it. Yeah. I'm winding my little mess I just made in my... Okay, now where is my actual... I've got everything all a mess. Okay, Same. so this is another Knickknack Knits um, Japanese knot bag. I got it at Arkansas Yarn Co. It's super cute. And it is holding my first whip, which is my newest cast on, um, which I haven't cast or hadn't cast on yet. It's going to be a gift knit for my middle sister who is going to Vegas this summer. And I'm gonna start, I've just started, I'm knitting her a, uh, like a beach cover up, like a swimsuit cover up. She's little, this is still feeling really little, but I cast this on today and um, when we were sitting at Arkansas Yarn Co. And so I have like the booby cups. <laughs> this is not the way to show this off. And yet perfect. here I am. And so my sister's, <laughs> you can't laugh like that. <laughs> My I sister just looked at the camera. And so... <laughs> mm, okay. I love you. <laughs> uh, my sister's like very skinny. She's not very skinny, but she's thin, and so this is going to fit. I will make it fit. I want to test it out. I'm going to see her tomorrow after church, and so I'm going to put it on her and see and measure how much I need to make for the back. It's knit in three pieces for the top, so I'll make one back panel with the sleeves going up. It'll just be really square. There's just minimal shaping. I have edited this pattern. I'll link it down below. I think it's just called Day Trip Beach Dress. Um, it's by a girl Hooked Hazel on Instagram. I don't, her real name is, she, this is an old pattern. So it's under her real name, but um, I will link it below. It's really cute. I'll put a picture right over here over Maddie's face so that nice. you can see what it's supposed to look like. But right now it's just panels. And I'll have the back panel done and then it's just going to be like shell lace because it's crocheted. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about crochet. It's right. meant for a cotton worsted and I'm using a sport weight um, bamboo because this is the bamboo pop in sand. And so I, um, my gauge was still really loose and I did not meet gauge. But now that I've, I've done the pattern to measurement, it's not correct. Um, so I'll be editing it a little bit so that it'll fit my sister. Um, but I don't know. I think it's pretty, pretty cute. It's got a really good fabric. It is a beach cover up, so it doesn't matter that it's a little bit see-through. It'll be a swimsuit under it. Yeah, it'll be a swimsuit under it. So it started, this is my first crochet project on the podcast. Um, I used to crochet a lot. This was my 
my favorite thing to do. <laughs> do you think we can? It's because I feel like it's the only way you can tell like what this is. You know, like obviously my tatas are too big for it, but hers will fit. Um, so yeah, I will link the pattern details below. Hopefully I edited it in a picture, but maybe I didn't. So look see. at the pictures down below or the link down below. Um, it's a really cute pattern, but I looked at some project pages and I think everyone had a problem with sizing. So I'm going to do a bunch of edits and I'll, I'll take notes in my Ravelry. So for the end product, it'll be there if necessary. <laughs> I'm making the medium size for my sister. Um, they only give you bust sizes. My sister has like larger boobs than she has body. Like she's a very skinny person with a larger chest. So I'll have to edit it. I know I will. So I'm just going to yeah. put it on her tomorrow and see what happens. But her birthday's at the end of June. That's when she's going to Vegas. And so that will be her gift knit for her birthday. Her gift make. Yes. I keep saying knit. It is a crochet. Yeah. And I, I, I loved crochet for so long. So that's why I got all the hooks. Um, I was trying different gauges and I was like, well, I'll still use them. And they're the Knitter's Pride hooks. And I like them so far. I've only knit those two panels, but it only took me all of what, an hour to knit those two all, panels. Yeah. So it won't take me long. I'll have that finished for the next podcast. And then, yeah, I'm going to give it to her. But it's her the first thing I've ever made for my middle sister oh, cool. at all. I've made stuff for her kids, never made anything for my sister. And she's always really like supportive and like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh my gosh. But she's never mm -hmm. asked for anything. Yeah. So I've never given her anything. And I think that's going to be a really cute birthday gift and she might cry. So oh, we love that. I don't love people <laughs> we, crying, but we, we love, love when you cry. It's fun to be appreciated. So that is making me happy, but this yarn is making me sad. Um, let's Just the see. tangled mess. I know. I covered everything up. Okay, so let's make go on to something that's making me really happy. Yay. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I bound this off today. <gasps> This is my love note. It doesn't have sleeves yet. It is just a solid black. <laughs> this is the love note pattern by Tin Can Knits. Um, it is a fingering the Knit Picks palette in black and the Knit Picks Aloft thing or mohair mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. in black. <laughs> Held double on like a 10. So it actually went by pretty quick. The lace took me no time at all. And then knitting the body was just tedious because it's so boring. It's just black knitting, just in a, in the round. It's gonna look so good though. <gasps> okay, so it is for my mother. My mother is a small woman and I had her try it on today and it fits so good. good. It is perfect. And so I want to um, block it out longer, just a little bit, but it fit her really well. She put it on over her jumpsuit. It looks so cute. Yay, that's I'm so exciting. Happy. So I'm gonna do her sleeves. I'll measure her arms to make sure I get the right length. I'm not gonna do the pattern sleeve. I'm going to just do a straight sleeve and then cinch at the wrist. That's what I did. I yeah. love it. A balloon sleeve. Mm -hmm. That's what I will do. And it's going to be so cute. And then I'm not going to knit much up here because it sits really well on her. Good. Yeah, and then, you'll just pick up yeah. that provisional and then bind it off. Yeah. I'm Easy. just going to do like maybe two, three rows of ribbing so that it doesn't roll and then done. Um, so I'm super excited about this. I think it's really, really cute. It's so good. And I'm really glad it fits her so well. And she loved it. My dad is really, really impressed. He saw it and he's like, that's unreal. That's unreal. I can't believe you made that. I'm like, well, it's not done. That's really sweet though. <laughs> You're like, keep going. <laughs> you know, me. Like, this is why I tell people I'm famous. You do. <laughs> we were at the yarn store today and a lady walked in and we introduced ourselves. And then she says, you two look familiar. Because she goes, yeah, we're famous. Because this is this is my brain. I was like, I don't recognize this woman. I don't want to say, oh, I don't know you. Or like, oh, what's your name again? Or something like that. Because we've clearly met this woman in my brain. But she was like, oh, you guys are in that podcast. And I was like, die. Oh my I gosh, I want to run die. In the street. <laughs> when she was like, yeah, we're famous. I was like, I'm going to crawl under this chair. <laughs> How many times do I say we're famous? I yeah. say it all the time. I'm just like, it, it's a joke. It I'm is like, a joke, but in that setting. Yes. You know what I just noticed? In, when you knit this, you said you thought your skein was off because you had black speckles in one of your blue stripes. I do too. There are black speckles. No, no, no. That's I when I when I got through another repeat, they're in all of them. It was like yeah. intentional. It's oh, okay. like supposed to be like that. So weird. But anyway, just need sleeves and I'm going to knit them and it's going to be fast. And then this is um, one of my only three projects I still had on the needles. 
um, other than the one I just picked up today. So to get this done, I'm not casting on anything else, maybe the gnome, which I said last time too, but mm -hmm. I haven't cast on yet. So I might cast on a gnome, but I'm not finished. I'm not doing anything until I finish this and these next two. Yeah. So sleeves done. So excited. Okay. Um, what else? Give me your socks. Yeah, I have your two socks, but I think mm. I deleted them. Deleted them. Yeah. I put all my stuff on top of it. So these are my um my Maddie socks. I did make progress. I think I did one repeat on one sock of each color. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's it. And uh, these are the sh the string of heart socks by Made by Maddie. She's right here. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that's me. And so I finished another repeat on just one of the socks in each of the colors. So I'm doing it twice. And so I've talked about these a bunch. These will be off my needles before I cast on anything else except for maybe a gnome. So, and then the other one is in the red and the green for Christmas. The thing is that these are not gonna be worn for so long that I'm not thinking about it. I have already stopped wearing my, um, my knit socks for the year. It's too warm for me to do it. If I plan on going somewhere cold, maybe. I just washed all of ours. They're all hanging up to dry, but yeah, our sock usage has gone down drastically. My husband still wears his almost every day um, yeah. with his work shoes. I I don't own non-knit socks, so I wear them anytime. I have a lot of shorties that I've knit, so I wear them anytime I wear closed-toed shoes, but I'm big on open-toed shoes in the summer. Lots of Birkenstocks, so I don't wear mine a ton either. And I wear my tennis shoes, and sometimes I don't wear them with socks, and sometimes I wear them with socks. So, And I wear ballet flats a lot, which mm -hmm. look kind of silly when you're wearing ballet flats and then wool socks. So my socks are kind of up for now. I haven't worn wool socks in a, in a minute, so knitting wool socks right now is not making sense, which is why I'm really excited that I'm, I did this, the beach thing and the gnomes are really good. Yeah, you and got some summer projects yeah, going. I think I'm gonna start working on baby stuff a little bit for the next few months. I've got birthdays coming up for the babies, so that, but I did want, before you get into your cast-ons or your going to planned, be cast-ons, yeah. your planned cast-ons, I have a question because I'm gonna knit myself a top soon. I've got the rocket tee or the uh, nettle tee, nettle tee or the beach clip. No, sea what's glass. The sea glass tee or the beach clip? <laughs> one more. It's the one that are, are work uniform. The bright axis. The bright axis tee. There are four tees. The bright axis tee. I'm going to knit all four of these this summer. So bright axis tee, rocket tee. Nettle tea. I'm going to have pictures. Okay. <laughs> and then the last one was the sea glass tea. Um, those four tops. I'm going to cast one of those on after I finish the sweater. Which one should I do? Mm. One, two, three, or four. And they're going to be on the screen right here. One, two, three, four. I think the sea glass tea comes out on Thursday. Yeah, but I don't need to do it right when it comes out. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what I mean. It's like, yeah. if you finish that sooner, then you'd have to wait. But I have the rocket tee on the needles. I'm, I'm going to have the rocket tee and the bright axis both on the needles at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the rocket tee is going to get done first. Like I feel like I'm putting more into that, but we'll see. Um, I also have yarn for the nettle tee. Um, but the more I look at it, I don't know that I'm going to like the fit of that on my body. So I don't know that I'm going to knit that one. I think that I'm going to love the fit of that on my body. Yeah. And I, every time I look at it, I love it. I love the rocket tee. Mm -hmm. um, I've had that in my favorites for a really long time. I love the nettle tee. Um, I love the bright axis tee. Ever since we saw it on Jessa, we just want to wear it. I didn't, and it's I our work uniform. no interest until I saw Jessa wearing yeah. it. It looks so cute on her body. And then we put it on our body. We She took off her shirt in the store. She had a tank top. We switched. We switched shirts in the store. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it, that's our kind of relationship and it's great. But um, yes, I want, I will knit that before July, because that's when the Arkansas Yarn Crawl is for all of the stores in Arkansas Yarn, or in Arkansas, in Arkansas. The yarn stores in Arkansas. Yeah, the yarn stores in Arkansas. Yarn in Arkansas. Um, <laughs> don't laugh at me. I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so that's our work uniform. I will have it done. That's that's a given. But which one should I cast on first? I'm going to have them all in my needle at the same time. I'm I can't. going to cast on the sea glass the day it comes out, too. If I have I've... them all at the same time, I won't knit anything. I'll just be like... <laughs> I swatched for all of them this last week. I had one day of swatching. Um, but yeah, I, I'm curious to hear what everyone says. What are you interested in? 
What do you want to see her knit? What do you, I want? What do I want to knit? I don't know. I also have the stuff to put the star flake on my needles. I feel like I would start with the bright axis if I were you, since it has the strictest deadline. It's true. And it's, it's just, it starts as you cast on you rib, and then it's just plain knitting for plain a long knitting. time. So it's easy. It's true. And then it gets you kind of get your momentum going. Right. And I'll and really struggle with, with the, the bottom stripe. up. Yeah. Um, the striped yarn like goes across the front of the back, mm -hmm. but everyone I've heard knit it in the sizes that we're going to knit it in around those sizes, um, has just barely broken into the second skein. So you'll have plenty left for socks out of that woolens and notch. Which I'm so happy about. Mm -hmm. Cause I love Blair where are my leg warmers or whatever. I love this is the way, which mm -hmm. is the one I have. It's yeah. really good. This so, delicious. if you could leave a comment letting me know which I should cast on next. Especially if you're Chevy Rail, because every time ah. you leave a comment, we screech. <laughs> I, don't call her out. Don't tell her. Don't I make it weird. <laughs> I, I don't think it's weird. I think it's just me appreciating the fact that I've watched your podcast for so long. Uh, from the very beginning, like you're one of the first podcasts I ever watched. And you subscribe to us, and then you comment on our stuff. And don't make me cry. It don't make me cry. Really happy. Don't We're make both me cry. Really, really supported <laughs> and like included in this community. Mm -hmm. And just feeling lots of love. Yeah, she's <laughs> wanting me to cry. She likes it. She's a sadist. <laughs> we love you, Chevy. We do. We do. We love you. A lot. Every time you comment, we send each other screenshots of your comments. And we say, oh my gosh, she's our friend. We're just ratting ourselves out. <laughs> We're like, are we We're friends? I'm going to cut this. This is all getting out. <laughs> this is all out. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> <gasps> okay, don't blush. We're fine. Um, what about your future crafts on? Yeah, the sea glass tea. Yeah. I did my swatch. Um, I'll show that first, and then I'll talk about my colors. Before I show this, take a second. Guess what colors I'm knitting? <laughs> Are you surprised? It's blue and green. <laughs> well, it's reading purple right there. So Was show it? it a little bit better. <laughs> Do you see it now? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> see it? Oh, goodness. Um, the Sea Glass Tea is a scrappy t-shirt. Um, it's amazing. Her, um, I won't talk a ton about it because it's a brilliant design and it's all, it's a paper pattern, but it's coming out very soon. I went through and picked all my scraps. I'm doing a version where, so it's two, two skeins, two colors of fingering at the same time, but they're not held double, and it's a one by one color work kind of look. So one of my skeins throughout is a neutral. Um, I've made a magic knot ball of all of my gray, black, and white from my stash. It looks so cool. <laughs> yeah. It's got some mohair in mohair. there, mm -hmm. all kinds of different bases. I mean, they're yeah. all fingering. But... All fingering, but lots of different bases in there. I included some that don't have nylon because it doesn't really matter. Um, so you can kind of see but there's the gray or black behind all that. And then my other now color. Let me touch it and hold it. Yeah. Not that. The swatch. Take it. Okay. Sorry, that was hideous, the top of my head. <laughs> and then I just pulled it off. She's got issues. <laughs> my head is hideous. I pulled out, when I was sorting through my scraps for my blanket and winding off, I pulled all the blues and greens and put them all in here. And I'm not going to magic knock these. I'm just going to, like, every row or two, change colors. It's so pretty. It's really fun. It was fun to go through my yarn and find some of its sparkle. Mm -hmm. These are from my advent from our Yarn Club last mm -hmm. year. Also, if you're still watching an hour and ten minutes into this. Oh my god. If you're lucky on Wednesday <laughs> when this goes live, the Arkansas Yarn Co. advents might still be out. She posted them yesterday they'll, they'll and today. But they'll probably try. be gone. But yeah. try. They might not be if you're really lucky. It's a Frosty the Snowman theme. So cute. We both ordered ours. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for Vlogmas. I got this the year. first one. You did. I got the first one. You got one. the very first first one. So I've got lots of Arkansas Yarn Co. Some stuff left here from Sock Classes. Got some Molly Klein design. This is her Shark Week colorway um, mm -hmm. from Nitty, Natty, Nitty okay. Natty's Sock Week that she does every year during Shark Week. Got Hypnotic. This is English Rose. I figure you guys like to see many. I'm just showing you like you care. This, oh is gosh, this could be a hat. Cascade Heritage Prints. I knit this pair of socks for a co-worker. I love digging through my scraps because I remember who I knit everything for, and that makes me really happy. Um, these, what I'm thinking, this is Stress Knits Eucalyptus. I think this is going to be my cuffs. Mm. So my ribbing will all be this color. So good. Yes. So I have this divided in two fifties because I started a pair of socks in it a while back and ended up frogging those. I adore Stress Knits. I think this color is awesome. I think it's a really good bluey green that will tie everything together really nicely. 
So I did that on my swatch one side. I did the eucalyptus so I could see how it balanced it and I really like it. Um, I've got some navies in here. I've got Silent Service from Arkansas Yarn Co. I have some Mount Lofrigo teals. And then I have some deep greens. This is Stress Knits too. Gorgeous. So I'm very excited about this. I will be casting on probably this upcoming weekend, probably about the day the pattern comes out because I start my new job on Monday. Um, I'll be a working woman again after three weeks of being a full-time knitter. So my content's probably gonna go down. Just depressing, <laughs> but I'm really excited about this. And this is an um, a Oh Snap bag, or it's a Namaste, but now they're Oh Snap. Hello. Yeah, from Jimmy Bean's Wool. We get a question every, every time. time. It's from Jimmy Bean's Wool, the Oh Snap bags. They're great. They are lovely. They come in lots of different colors. They have snaps across the top, lots of different sizes. I have several sets, but this one came in the set of silvers, and this is the large. And then they also have some that have the little handle. These are cute. I like They this. don't have those anymore. That was, oh. a, that was a special release. I got this one made. at Red Scotty Fibers. They do have a website. They're based out of Eureka Springs, Arkansas. You could check, see if maybe they still have some in stock. Um, this is just, I'm going to cast on these socks. Look at the colors I chose for my contrast. This is Ancient Arts and Firework. Very good. With those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like sporty stripes, yep, maybe? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, sporty stripes? Maybe? Girl, you think? I think you should do the color work heel, or not heel, cuff and toe. Color work, cuff and toe? Yeah, where you just do like a little stripe in the color work. Okay, okay, I yeah, mean, yeah. the, I can't word. Yes, just a stripe of color, <gasps> yes. like the work socks kind of vibe? Yes. Okay, yes. I thought you were saying a color work cuff, and I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> not a chance. That's okay. But I'll cast these on soon. I have lots of time now for lots of new cast-ons because I cleaned off my needles. Woohoo! That's all. But then you put more stuff on your needles. So they're really yeah, but now I have lots of lots of needles still, and then sure. I bought more needles. Yes. Like a crazy person. Yes. I still plan on casting on one more gnome and finishing it before the end of the gnome along, our gnome along, mm -hmm. and then once, well, I don't know, one of those sweaters. I also have a bamboo pop that I was thinking I might knit today, a pop sock, um, because it's the one that I was like, it's cursed. I just wanted to get through it. Yeah. So I was like, I feel like I could do it today, but I can't. So I was thinking when I do my sea glass tea, it's all going to be brights like this. So I have a lot of Woolly Mama minis. All and brights I or was, brights with like the background? No, I think all, all brights. brights. Yes. Yeah. I think it's going to be all brights. I think I might do like one where it's like the pinks, oranges, and yellows is one section and the greens, blues, and purples is another section okay. because she does all like, she does all like rainbowy colors. And so I've got a bunch of everything or like cool tone versus warm tone. I don't know. Maybe. They're all so neon. It's going to be so fun. Be so good. So I don't know. I might hold like a gray throughout or something like that just to like even it out. Um, not throughout, but like use it a regularly. repeat. Yeah, yeah. So that I have like a little bit of consistency. Um, check out the pattern. I don't know if like the videos and stuff are no, part of it. They're not. Paid for. Okay. So she has a lot of like inspo picks so that are yes, available. Those are available. You can look at the inspo picks and kind of figure out what kind of scheme you're going for. I, if I plan it too much, I will not work on it. Mm -hmm. It will become an obsession and I can't do that. It has to be random or it's not going to happen. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I, think, I think I have the, the good balance for myself where I have the one ball that's like already magic not one of the kind of inspo picks is like using one skein or one like main color throughout and then having your color work the other portion of your color work in your scraps but I thought having like a scrappy color scheme so like a neutrals and then a blues and greens was more my vibe but it keeps it random but I can use up a lot of scraps that way so I think being able to like reach in the basket and pick out a random blue or green every time will be really fun but then having one of the decisions already made for me by having a magic knot all done is good for me. I feel like I don't have enough scraps that are on a theme. All of my scraps from socks are striping, self-striping, and they're not yeah. on a theme at all. And then the scraps that I do have that are big are like the booberry, like it's a bright purple. And I was like, that's not even me. It's just a Halloween sock that I had, you know? Yeah. I just don't have enough scraps that are like that, but I do have a ton of minis. 
and that works just as well. It works so um, good. But dig through. I have a, my scrap basket. There's some brights in there that I, I can I see that take. pink right there, so, and I will take it. Yeah, so you'll take <laughs> some of that at least, and it'll add a few Arkansas Yarn Co. to your... Yeah. We'll and you have more. some Advent. You can yeah, use Advent I have a lot of Advent from Arkansas Yarn Co. that have bright, and then... And some I, sparkle. That's yeah, fine. some sparkle. I have my mohair from my uh, Texture Time. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think all of my scraps from my Texture Time would be perfect. Yeah. So it's fun. It's a yes. really good tee and it, the yardage is really low because it's short sleeve. So I think it ends up being like three skeins pretty much um, in scraps. So it's like in the yardage of that or whatever, but um, like 1200 yards or something for the extra large, which is what I'll do. The like 52, 53 inch bust. Um, so that's just like three or four mini sets for the full yardage. That's crazy, right? You have way more than that. <laughs> I mean, so many. So you can pick and choose. Yeah, so maybe we'll do a knit along for the sea glass too. I'm That's so fun. Excited. It'll end around. Oh my gosh, there's so many knit alongs. What are we well, going to do? None will be over. That's true. May we'll talk about that next time. If you're interested I feel like in we doing the sea glass, this one. Yeah, right. I need to be motivated to knit that. Okay. Well, we'll brainstorm on that. Leave your comments if you want another knit along, what you want it to be about, and we'll brainstorm and talk to you next time about it. Um. We're way over. We kind of chatter all the way through. Do you have any major We're chatter? We're not that much over. That's fine. Um, Good. Chatter. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm talking to you, so it's like we you already know. We're yeah. here together. Um, I'm not starting a new job and looking for a house or anything like that. <sighs> um, I don't know. I'm going to see a movie on Tuesday. <laughs> Yay! That's it. That's all I got. I got a date on Monday night, a movie on Tuesday night. Um, church tomorrow. I had a really great time at Lori's this weekend. We had so much fun. Yeah. We so love them. The um, the yarn crawl is coming up in July. I think Jennifer said she's coming, right? Yes, Jennifer Crafted Pearl. Yes. Um, follow her on Instagram if you don't. We love her. Yeah. She's been an Instagram friend to both of us since the beginning. Um, and she messaged me the other day that she's planning a trip. I think she said with her mom for the yarn crawl. That's so cute. Right? <laughs> um, so if you're thinking about coming to Arkansas, um, to Arkansas Yarn Co in particular, we'll be there as much as we can, mostly on the weekends. Like Saturdays, you'll see us for sure. We'll mm -hmm. be there anytime we can there. Try and be there more, but. But it's throughout Arkansas. So if you're planning on coming from out of state and you're like, well, what am I going to do? Just go to a yarn store. No, there's like five of them, right? Yeah. Six? And there's a lot of, yeah, there's places yeah. to camp in, around each one of them if you're into that. We have a, a river. Yeah. <laughs> we have a we river. Have a river. <laughs> We've got lakes. We've got food. Um, and we're here. So like the rest here. of that doesn't even matter. Yeah. I mean, I like Arkansas. I live here. I'm a fan, mm -hmm. but it'd be fun if lots of you want to come and hang out with us for the Saturday of the yarn crawl. We'll put, we'll tell more about that when we have our, when it gets together. a little closer. Yeah. Yeah. But, I'm excited about that. I'm still trying to buy a house. No luck yet. I'll keep y'all posted. Um, hopefully I get a house eventually. Then we can have a new yarn room. I can decorate a new yarn room and give you a yarn room tour. It sounds fun. Um, start my new job as an insurance producer for Farmers Insurance Agency. Mm -hmm. If you're in Arkansas, that's the only state I'm licensed in. But if you're in Arkansas, <laughs> I can pick you up. <laughs> Um, speaking of, so you'll be in the office and her office has really good internet. So I was thinking that we could have our own Zoom knit night with any friends who want to join us on a Zoom knit night. I love that. From your office where yeah, there's good we internet. Can go up to my office and hang out. Yeah. And yes. Because so neither of our houses have good internet. Not that great. No. no. Mine, I mean, I Zoom here a lot, but yes, I love that idea. So, um, should we in our Ravelry group maybe put up... Can we put up a poll in a Ravelry group to see like what night works for people? You think like a regular one or just You can put one? it on Instagram, I think. Yeah. Because that's probably better. Um, but if you're interested in a knit night or day or something like that on the weekend, maybe. Mm -hmm. We both have nine to five jobs in Arkansas, so we can't do it during the day on a Tuesday. Yeah. But anytime after like 536. Six. Um, when yeah. Yeah, so anytime after six in the evenings or on like a Saturday. If you guys would be interested, um, we'll put up a poll. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, I, I love that so idea. Too. I'd love to sit and actually like talk and interact with you guys some yeah. more. I think that'd be really fun. And if you stayed to the end of this video, then you earned the invite to our Zoom group. <laughs> <laughs> For the, the true followers only. Yeah. <laughs> this is oh, a lot. Yep. Oh okay. my God. Yeah. I'm not even guys, drunk. 
this was a good time. You're so funny. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna go eat some meat that my brother grilled. Why did you say we're gonna go eat some meat? <laughs> you grilled meat. Grilled pork I'm not chops gonna eat no meat. Steak and, what the heck, man? I mean, I don't like meat that much. Well, I'll you eat have your eggs. deviled eggs. Yeah, <laughs> I'll and eat your eggs and a roll mm, and a salad. That yeah, sounds yummy. A, a Caesar salad. Mm. But yeah, we are going to leave now. <laughs> So Why like, did this get so I don't know. Weird. It did get weird. I made it weird. I often do. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm excited um to talk to you guys again, see your makes. So keep interacting with us. Yeah. Tagging us on Instagram. We love that. Um, let me know about this song. I like it. I think it's nice. Let me know about Oh yeah, the pattern. I forgot. <laughs> so I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean to know? It's if cute. You're interested. Yeah. If I should write it up. Yeah. Maybe. We'll mm -hmm. see. Do you have a date for your Father's Day thought class? No, we haven't set one yet, but I'm teaching a sock class at Arkansas Yarn Co. in June. <laughs> yes. Um, for Father's Day inspired socks. So we'll be done by the end of June. That way people have socks to gift. But I'll put that on Instagram if, I mean, yeah, why not? Might as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry for the weird ending, folks. <laughs> yeah, well, I just don't know how to end it anymore. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I told my parents about me talking to that lady and telling her that we were famous. Did I laugh at you? <laughs> they were like, what? That's terrible. And I was like, yeah, because you are a family. Apparently, other people don't find it funny. You're famous. I find it funny. They're also humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to.